Roger Stone, we should remind people, uh, you mentioned him in your book, of course, The Big Lie, was a right hand, an advisor to Donald Trump, has known him for many years, and just saying out loud what the strategy was, which is just say you won. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. If you just come out quickly and say you won, then it's on the other guy to prove that you didn't. Uh, interesting, too, though, that he said before the election results came in, we're going to take you to court, we're going to fight it everywhere. Well. They did, and they lost 62 times in court when challenging election results. Yeah, nothing subtle at all about what we heard from Roger Stone there, Willie. And actually, you mentioned my book. In my book, I uncovered how Stone's are working on a plot like this predates 2020. I found an interview he gave to Breitbart back in 2016, where he talked about claiming victory and, if needed, resorting to violence to secure it. Now, of course, that was the election with Hillary Clinton. Trump ended up winning that, so none of this was necessary. But it shows that that far back, there were already some seeds were planted as to what we would eventually see in 2020. And Stone, of course, though not an official member of the White House staff, not a member of the campaign, not paid by the campaign, but a longtime Trump advisor in the president's ear repeatedly during that campaign, talking to people around him, part of the Bannon cabal that eventually took home, uh, up home in the Willard Hotel, that war room there. And of course, now this new footage suggesting that, yes, this was being discussed out in the open, that they were going to just claim victory and steal it and try to steal it. And we know that was reiterated on election night as well. That was also what Rudy Giuliani pitched to the two the then president when the results started to come in they lost arizona giuliani tells trump go out there say you won anyway that's basically what he did and the uh, insurrection was off the races yeah and, and gene robinson uh, you write about you write about this trump wing of the republican party which right now is the actual base of the republican party and it is all out in the open revenge uh replaces uh, working for the american people violence replaces uh, the support for a peaceful transition, sedition, um, uh, replaces um, uh, democracy. Uh, and, and I, I keep talking about how it's so shocking that they're saying this all in the open. You have conservative, so-called conservative thought leaders that are now openly saying that Western democracy does not work. Liberal mm -hmm. democracy does not work. They choose the illiberalism of Italy, the illiberalism of Hungary, the illiberalism of Russia, and it's all about exacting revenge on your opponents instead of doing what's best for your constituents. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's 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 what happens when a a criminal organization a, a, achieves power, seizes power in the United States. I mean, maybe we're lucky that it that it never happened in the 200 plus years before this. But how do you distinguish Trump and the people around him from? A, a criminal organization. Are they more criminal or more authoritarian? It's hard to, you know, it's hard to pick. You can go either way on on a given day. Um, and, and so now we're facing the midterms and we're looking at the prospect, you know, well, what happens if Republicans do manage to take the House? I think it's just all revenge all the time. That's their own. They have no plan for governing and they have no interest really in, in governing. It's it, it will all be about uh, a revenge for, um, you know, he, he, Trump got impeached, so let's impeach Biden. I mean, that'll be the ultimate. But um, uh, dragging uh, Biden cabinet members up uh, before hearings, Benghazi, 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 only it'll be something else. Um, this, that's what's happened to the Republican Party. It is, it is shocking, um, a, a shocking example of devolution uh, into, um, you know, again, What's, what's essentially a criminal slash authoritarian organization? Yeah, and, and you know they'll be they'll be the first to admit it when when again when they talk about how Western democracy doesn't work, liberal democracy doesn't work, they'll be the first to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, which again, they're admitting the quiet part out loud as Donald Trump has always done. Uh, Michael Still, listening to Gene Robinson, I'm just struck by the fact that. We all get on TV and we talk about what's happening in the midterms, of course, because of history. 
historical trends in midterm elections. We're sort of grading on a curve going, Democrats may mm -hmm. take control or, or may gain a few seats in the Senate. Of course, they'll lose the House, may not lose the House by as much as, but just stop right there. As you know, as Gene's talking about, if Republicans take control of the House by one vote, then the, the, this this exacting of revenge that they're now openly stating we're not going to govern we're going we're going mm. to to use any power we have to exact political revenge on our opponents because they won an election two years ago that becomes the new reality it becomes the reality for two years no listen it's going to be bad for america over the next two years of course if you look over the horizon, it'll be horrible for whatever Republican candidate is running in 2024. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but the biggest nightmare for Ron DeSantis, if he runs in 2024, would be Republicans taking control of the House and behaving this way because it'll turn off the middle. Uh, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We'd have that constitutional crisis on our hands over the next two years. Uh, if they got in and decided to start moving forward with undemocratic, uh, you know, legislation or 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 uh, we're just openly destructive the way they're talking about being right now. Well, so so you 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 made I guess I use the word assumption. Um, will it turn off the middle? I don't know. I, I think that's the test mm. of this election. I mean, look, the, the Republican Party is telling you what we're all about. You've got, you know, Stefanik, you've got uh, McCarthy, you've got all these folks out here saying, uh, you know, we're, we're about um, an agenda that involves investigation of Hunter Biden. You've got, um, you know, clarity on if we get the power back, we're going to impeach uh, uh, Biden. That is, that's a declarative statement. It's not a, well, we'll think about it, maybe we will. No, it's, no we're going to do that. So I, I get it. Everybody is sort of wringing their hands about the Biden administration and inflation and the gas prices. But then they look across the aisle and they see a, a group of thugs who are sitting there saying, we want to further sow anti-democratic, um, uh, an anti-democratic agenda. We're not we're not laying out a governing strategy. We're laying out a retributive stat, uh, strategy. We're laying out the owning the lib strategy. Um, and so you're right. It does make it a little bit squirrely for 2024, but my attitude is if the American people, when they're told up front that we've got no plan except to own the libs and, and to take down Biden through uh, an impeachment process, then they have basically said that's OK if they give them that one seat. So this is, you know, I don't know how much the middle or anybody else is concerned if they go to the polls saying, oh, my God, inflation, I'd rather have an anti-democratic uh, Republican Party in power than a guy who is at least trying to manage however half-heartedly an economy that I supposedly am concerned about. Um, it, it makes no sense to me. The, the American people have to reconcile themselves about the kind you 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 referred to this a little bit earlier joe about the kind of leaders they want to lead them because these leaders are an extension of us they represent us and so when they go out and they show their behinds as my mama used to say they're showing our behinds we're, we're part of that so we may sit there and talk about you know what the italians are doing well we're not that much better we're not that much far removed if this is the path we want to go down, when we have it staring in our faces from the reports out of January 6th, the evidence coming out of Georgia and elsewhere, that this is an anti-democratic process that has been unfolding in front of our eyes, Joe. And, and so the question to, the, to that middle that you referred to is, are you down with that? That's what you want? Because that's what you're going to get. <laughs> I mean, nothing's yeah. I mean, it's not going to be any different. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying about the middle. But this is in their hands come November, and if they give the power back to a party that has no agenda, that wants to impeach the president and go down that road, then don't complain about what happens between, you know, 23 and 24.